Hi team, welcome to your daily sadhana. This is Katie. I use she, her pronouns. And today we're going to take um, just a little bit of time, so around 20 to 30 minutes, just to move our bodies, kind of get back in touch. Um, this might be a really good class to use right when you wake up in the morning before you start your day, or this might be nice if you've had a long day of more administrative work and you've been sitting down, um, a good break in the middle of your day before you charge on to, to something else. Um, it can also be really well partnered with other classes on the YouTube channel. So this can kind of just be like that little startup and then maybe uh, challenge yourself a little bit more with something heavier from, from Ben or from Angie or the rest of the crew. But with that being said, um, I have two blocks right here with me. Um, you are very welcome to also have blocks if you're at home and kind of using the resources you have. Books are really helpful. Pillows are really helpful. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll begin today in child's pose. So for child's pose, I want you to come to seated on your shins and then take a quick inventory of how widely you'd like to push your knees out to the side. They don't have to go to the outer bounds of your mat and they don't have to be snuggled together. So find the variation that you want of the in-between. And then with your hips a little bit closer towards your heels, I want you to crawl your fingertips out. Your option is to place your hands on blocks. Since we're just trying to really wake up the system, it might be really nice to have some space in your shoulders and in your chest. Gently relax your forehead down to the floor. And I want you to make that a priority rather than your hips touching your heels. Sometimes within these postures, we have to prioritize pieces of it. Not everything is all clicking at once. Not everything has to, and not everything ever will. And so immediately, I want you to prioritize resting your mind. Your body will soften. Time helps that more than it helps anything else. But there's a consciousness of settling into your mind, relaxing and softening and prioritizing that part of your wellness for the rest of the day. And take a really big breath in through your nose. And a big open mouth exhale. One more for a steady breath in. And for a steady breath out. Seal your lips. Breathe in and out of your nose. Starting to conjure up your ujjayi breathing, your breath of fire, a breath of presence, something you can hear and something you can feel each and every time you breathe. If you aren't necessarily on blocks with your hands, go ahead and tent up to your fingertips. Feel a stretch underneath your armpits and running down the sides of your rib cage. Breathe in. And breathe out. On your breath in, plant firmly back into your palms and then exhale, find a side body stretch over towards the left side of your mat. I want you to crawl your right hand close to your left or maybe even on top of your left hand. Anchor your right hip closer to your right heel. It doesn't have to touch, but we root ourselves somewhere so that we can reach from anywhere. Broaden through the right side of your ribs on your breath in. And contract a little bit of the muscles in your belly on the breath out. Crawl back through center. Take a breath in. And then over to the right side, we'll go on the breath out. Left hand either next to or on top of your right hand. And now your left hip gets to be the anchor. So let it get really heavy, like someone's just placed a heavy weight on top of it. And it starts to push a little closer to your heels without the intent of touching. Broaden as you breathe in. Find a little bit of strength as you breathe out. And crawl back into center. Find a breath in. And just commit on the breath out to where you are. And we'll start to move. So glide forward. Find your tabletop position, please. Relieve your hips. And then you're welcome to set your blocks off to the side, or you're welcome to keep them underneath your hands. 
Regardless, I want you to flare out through your palms, start to feel like you're gripping the mat underneath your fingertips, and then start to pull the belly button up and in towards your spine, creating a little bit of strength and engagement here. Keep the engagement as you move here. Inhale for cow pose, drop your belly towards the floor, lift your collarbones and your tailbone up to the sky, almost like they're attached by puppet strings to the ceiling. And then in that same fashion, like they're connected to the floor, exhale, cat pose, dome, round, and then hug, chin to chest, and gaze between your knees. Inhale for cow pose, broaden and peel open, snuggling shoulder blades together. Exhale for cat, tuck your tailbone down towards the ground like it's an arrow face in the floor. Last one like this, breathe in, pull the heart forward, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, round and curl, tuck your chin into your chest, push your hands into the floor a lot. Find an inhale where you are. And then as you exhale, ground into your left palm, please. Reach your right fingertips high to the sky. Take a big inhale. Now we'll take a thread the needle reach, but we're not necessarily gonna land. So just take a breath in. And then as you exhale, reach. Right shoulder hovers over the top of the mat, not necessarily touching, just finding a little bit of strength. Inhale, reach the fingertips up, big breath in. Two more. Exhale, just give it a reach and hover. Last one for the reach and hover. Take a big breath in, reach up. And exhale, reach, hover as you thread. Big breath in, reach the right fingertips up. This time as you exhale, thread the needle and then we'll stay. So right hand threads underneath and through, right cheek to the mat, and then your left fingertips. Want them to either reach forward towards the front of your space or stay right underneath your shoulder for support. And your option is always to find a half bind behind your low back, opening your chest. Options for the lower half. You're very, very welcome to take your left foot all the way out to the side. Now, if you take your left foot out to the side, it goes directly in line with your hip and your entire left foot is down onto the ground. Outer blade prioritized first. We're looking just to tap into the spine, working it into our rotation or a twist. And breathe in. And then breathe out. Now, if your left hand isn't under your shoulder, go ahead and put it there now, and then bring your left knee underneath your left hip, then try to reach your right arm back up to the sky. Take it in three parts. And then exhale, come back down to your tabletop position. Same, same on the other side. Three reaches, and then we'll hold. Reach the left fingertips up, find a big breath in. Exhale, reach and hover underneath you. Two more like that. Breathe in, reach up, open up. Exhale, reach and hover the left shoulder. One more like that, please. Big breath in. And a big breath out to reach. Last time, pull all the way up, open the chest, reach the hand up high. And then exhale, thread the needle and stay. So left shoulder comes down to the floor, left cheek comes down. Your right hand is gonna go wherever it wants to go. Maybe it goes up top towards the front of the space. It could half bind or it could stay underneath your shoulder. Remember the lower half options. Your right foot goes directly out to the side of you, not necessarily behind or in front. And then settle in. Think about drawing your right hip closer down towards the floor, but then spiraling your left shoulder towards the ceiling and your right shoulder to behind you. And so now we have a twist that really prioritizes right through the middle of the spine, the most mobile part of our spine. Take a breath in. Then a breath out. Gather your right hand underneath you, then bring your right knee underneath you, then swing your left palm high to the sky. You don't have to do everything all at once. And then plant the palms back down to the ground. From here, I want you to tuck your toes under, lift your hips, we'll find a downward facing dog. Take a steady breath in where you are. Keep moving on the breath out. I'll kind of start to bend my knees, 
sway my hips a little bit side to side and push my heels down towards the ground one at a time. And then pay attention to your chest here. So pack the shoulders back into their sockets. Spiral the back of your arms towards your legs so that the eyes of your elbows begin to face forward. Breathe in. Let your head hang heavy on the breath out. Take a look to the top of your space, please. And then take tiny steps. We'll meet in ragdoll. Separate your feet out really wide, as wide as your mat is. Bend your knees a lot and let your head hang very heavy. If you're sitting a lot, driving a lot, or typing a lot, this could feel really good, especially for the lower back. Opposite hand can come to opposite elbow for a bind in front. That's gonna make your upper half heavier to stretch the low back more. And if you need a little more chest opening because you're doing this in the morning, interlace your fingertips behind your hips and then just let your hands fall towards the front of your space, almost like they're trying to fall over the top of your head. Continue to move, continue to breathe. You're prioritizing yourself and you're prioritizing pieces of the practice, not the whole thing all at once. Breath in. As you exhale, gently release whatever bind you took, if you took one. Step your feet together or at least hip width distance apart. On your inhale, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time until the crown of your head becomes the last thing to rise up. As you arrive, relax into Tadasana or mountain pose so that your palms are gonna face forward but they're standing by your sides. Pinkies in, thumbs out. Extend the crown of your head tall or attach like that puppet string still towards the ceiling. And then root down firmly into your feet as if the roots literally go through the mat and down into the earth. We'll take a few rounds of a half sun salutation or Surya Namaskar A, just to build a little repetition, get ourselves moving, and then we'll build from there. On your inhale, reach the fingertips high, Urva Hastasana, reach up. Exhale, pull your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Reach the hands up, take a breath in. Next, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Hinge at your hips. Keep a bend in your knees, please. Inhale for halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Hands will plant to your thighs or to your shins, but I want you to reminisce about the tabletop that we had earlier. Shoulder blades slightly snuggle together, belly button hugs up and in, and your hips are hovering over the top of your heels. Take a breath in, find some more space, and exhale, forward fold. So that a few more times. Rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, hands to the sky, breathe in. Gather your hands at your heart center, breathe out. Reach up, breath in. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway up, inhale. Fold all the way down, exhale. Rise up, hands to the sky, big breath in. Anjali Mudra, hands to your heart center. Urva Hastasana, reach up, inhale. Uttanasana, forward fold as you exhale. Halfway lift, lengthen and breathe in. And fold forward on the breath out. Last time, inhale, rise up, Urva Hastasana, hands high. Breathe out, pull your hands to your heart. Reach up on your inhale. Then fold forward on your exhale. Halfway lift, big breath in. This time exhale, palm the mat, find a high plank position, please. Strength as we're here, press down into the mat, come high up on the ball mounds of your feet and start to find the space between your shoulder blades, almost like you did in cat pose. Suction cup your belly button up towards the ceiling and your hips are in line with your shoulders rather than above or below. Breathe in. Exhale, drop your knees down and then come all the way down to the mat. We'll set up for a rolling cobra. So from here, I want you to send your arms out wide like you're creating an upside down goal post with your elbows, almost like you're at the top of a wide row. Tent into your fingertips as if there's something underneath your hands and then plaster the tops of your feet down towards the floor. 
On your inhale, roll your chest up, press into your fingertips as high as you want to lift up. Now exhale, roll it back down. Breathe in, roll up, extend. And then exhale to roll down. Two more. Roll up, press up, rise up, breathe in. Melt down on the breath out. Last one. Press the feet down, lift the chest up. And then exhale, soften down to the ground. Hands under your shoulders. Inhale, tabletop. And exhale for downward facing dog. Lift the hips all the way up and back. We'll continue to move from here. Take a look forward and then take tiny steps to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, create some space. Then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, mountain pose, big breath in. Forward fold on the breath out. Halfway lift, create some space. And this time, step your left leg back and then set your left knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise up for Anjaneyasana or low crescent lunge. You're welcome to stay right here or melt the left hip down a little bit more firmly towards the ground. Press into your right heel, lift the chest up, lift the arms up, big breath in. Exhale, find your half splits, a great place for your blocks. As you lengthen through the right leg, flex your right toes back towards your face, and we'll keep the left hip away from the left heel for now. Hands on blocks on any setting or on your books or even tented fingertips on the floor. And you're welcome to bend your right knee to any degree that it feels good. And breathe in. And breathe out. I want you to crawl forward, bend your right knee, lift your left knee, inhale, low lunge twist or revolved side angle, reach the right fingertips high to the sky. Press down into the ground with your left hand, reach the right fingertips up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, skandasana. So we'll crawl to the back of the mat, bend the left knee, lengthen the right leg. So same, same from what we did in our half splits, but just taking it a little bit more towards the lateral side of our spaces. Toes flex back up. We'll still just continue to build the flexion in the left ankle. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then your inhale, come back towards the top of your mat. Frame your, hand, frame your right foot with your hands. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a look forward and then step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift and forward fold. Rise up to the sky, please. Inhale, mountain pose. And then exhale, forward fold, right back down to the ground. Halfway lift. This time your right leg will step back and your right knee will set down. Inhale for Anjaneyasana or low crescent lunge. Reach up and then you're welcome to keep hips stacked on top of the back knee or start to shift forward and melt the right hip open more. This will soften us into a back bend. So again, it's your choice. We're just gonna try to move the spine as much as we can. Big breath in. As you exhale, half splits. Maybe again, we need our blocks, so shift the hips back. Place your hands to frame your left shin. Keep the right hip high. Pull your collarbones closer towards your ankle bone. Keep length in the spine, and especially length in the back of your neck. Breathe in. Then fold on the breath out. Bend your left knee, crawl forward. Inhale, low lunge twist or revolve side angle. Right palm down, left palm reaches high. Pull the left hip back in space so that you can reach the crown of your head further forward, breath in. Exhale for skandasana towards the back of your mat. Pivot towards the right side of your space. Bend your right knee, lengthen the left leg long. Where we focused on the hamstrings in the half splits, we'll focus on the inner thighs here as well in the skandasanas. So we're just gonna try to open up all the spaces that get a little bit more tense when we sit, type, drive throughout the rest of the day. Breathe in and breathe out. On your inhale, low lunge to the front of your space, please. Crawl your way forward, frame your left foot. And then exhale, downward facing dog will lift the hips. Let's take that a couple times. Look forward 
and then travel top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway on your inhale. Then fold on the exhale. Rise up to mountain pose, loop the fingertips up overhead. And exhale forward, fold Uttanasana. Halfway lift, please lengthen through the spine. Step the left leg back and set the left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge, reach the fingertips up overhead. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, half split, shift the hips back, lengthen the right toes up. Inhale, revolve side angle, left hand comes down, bend the right knee, twist open to the right. Exhale, Skandasana, pivot to a lateral lunge to the left side of your space. Inhale, pull forward, low lunge, plant the palms. Exhale, downward facing dog, Anamukha Svanasana. Look forward, breathe in. Travel forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, please. And forward fold. Rise up for a mountain, reach the fingertips high. Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. The right knee will step back and right knee sets down. Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. Take a big breath in. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits on the breath, out. Crawl forward, low lunge twist, revolve side angle, left palm up, left knee bends. Exhale, Skandasana, lateral lunge, back of the mat. Inhale for low lunge, plant the palms. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Listen for change, please. Let's take a look forward. Travel top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift. And an exhale to fold. Chair pose this time, Utkatasana. Building strength, building openness, reach up. Big breath in, sink the hips back. And exhale, forward fold. Take it right back down. Halfway lift, please. Left leg will step back. Left knee will still set down. I want you to kickstand your left toes right behind you. So towards the right side of your mat, we'll peel open for a kneeling warrior two. So hips are open, but we're still grounded. Reach the arms out towards the sides of your room, kind of trying to reach the front and back of your mat. And take a breath in and breath out. Steady is on the breath, on the breath in. Exhale, kneeling side angle, right forearm, right thigh, left fingertips overhead, bicep by the ears, like you're reaching forward. Let's take a few shoulder circles. Sweep to the back of the room, breathe in. Forward as you breathe out. On your inhale, reach back to the back of the room. And exhale, we circle forward. Let's do that one more time. Big breath in. Mm, big breath out. Straighten through your right leg. And then set the left hand down. Turn your toes towards the long edge of your mat, almost like a kneeling side plank. We'll take this almost like we do a reverse warrior. So right fingertips reach up and over to the back of the room. Take a breath in. And take a breath out. With your toes exactly where they are, right toes facing the left side, long side of your mat. Breathe in. As you exhale for gate pose, so come all the way up, right hand comes down, left fingertips lift up, breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath in, breath out. Left hand to the ground, right hand overhead, kneeling side plank on your inhale. And as you exhale, we'll just crawl to the front of the room, we'll find a low lunge, plant the palms. Inhale, lift the back knee. And exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Other side, look forward. Travel forward as you'd like. Forward fold, top of the mat. Halfway lift, please. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Lengthen halfway. Set your right knee, step your right leg back and then set your right knee down. Kickstand your right toes behind you so they're towards the left side of your space. And then kneeling warrior two as you open up. In the grounded space, can you start to push the left knee closer to the pinky toe side of your left foot? So we really start to peel open here. Take a breath in. A kneeling side angle on the breath out, left forearm, left thigh, back hand overhead. 
We'll take our shoulder circles to the back of the room first. Breathe in. Front of the room on the breath out. And two more. Breathe in. Then circle forward. Breathe out. And last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale for a kneeling side plank. So right hand will come down. Left toes go towards the right side of your space. Long edge of your mat. And reach your left hand overhead like you're trying to touch whatever's behind you. Broaden through your left rib cage. Take a breath in. Exhale for gate pose. Keep the lower half exactly the same. Left hand on the left thigh. Right hand reaches up. Broaden this time through the right ribs. Take a breath in. And stay for the breath out. Back to our kneeling side plank. Take a breath in. Sweep the top arm up. Then exhale, we'll crawl forward, low lunge, top of your space, left toes go forward. Inhale, lift the right knee. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time to wake up and then we'll take it down to the ground, look forward. And then travel, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift. And a forward fold. Rise up, roll up, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, lengthen. Set the left leg back, breathe out, set the left knee down. Kickstand your left toes, inhale, kneeling, warrior two. Peel the chest open, peel the hips open. Kneeling side angle, maybe we reach a little further. Inhale for the kneeling side plank, left hand goes down to the right toes to the long edge of your mat. And exhale for gate pose, lift the chest, glide down the right leg. Inhale back to your kneeling side plank. Reach the right arm overhead. Then exhale, low lunge, top of your space. Plant the palms. Lift your back knee as you breathe in. Then step back as you breathe out. Look forward. And then step to the top of your mat on the exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Chair pose this time because I forgot it the second round. Take a big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. We can always do with one less chair pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Set the right leg back. Set your right knee down. Kickstand your right toes behind you. Inhale, kneeling warrior two. And exhale for a kneeling side angle as you reach down. Inhale for kneeling side plank. So right hand down. Turn the left toes to the long edge of your mat. Exhale for gate pose. Lift the chest. Glide down the left leg. Inhale, kneeling side plank, reach the left arm overhead, big breath in. Then exhale, low lunge, top of your space, crawl your way forward, frame your left foot. Inhale, pull the right knee high, and exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Breathe out here. Look forward. As you exhale, drop down to your knees. Come to a seat. And we'll meet in a seated figure four. We'll try to stay upright since we have a little bit left to do for the rest of the day. So plant your feet down, take the right ankle, cross it over the left thigh. You're welcome to walk your fingertips up a little closer, trying to put your chest a little bit closer towards your shin. Keep your chest proud, anchor your sits bones. Rather than dumping into your shoulders, make sure there's space between your shoulders and your ears, length through your neck. Steady on the breath in. And on the breath out. And one more for your inhale. And one more for your exhale. Now from here, I want you to lengthen your left leg long. Keep the figure four. So now we're in a seat Left leg out in front of you, still figure four on the right side. Take a breath in, lift the chest up. And then as you exhale, we'll start to fold over that figure four, reaching towards the left toes. It's gonna change the dynamic for sure of how far we fold, but we're prioritizing, right? We don't have to do everything all at once. Give yourself an opportunity to take what you need from the day and not necessarily feel as though you have to soak every little last bit out of it, get everything done all at once. You have time. Breathe in. And breathe out. I want you to keep your left foot there. 
Plant the right foot down onto the ground so your right knee is now towards the ceiling. We'll take a twist towards the right side. So you can either wrap your arms around your right leg and pull it in, or you can take your right hand behind you and then chamber your left arm to the outside of your right knee. Either one will work. Either one will continue to open your spine and give yourself space to lift the crown of your head. Breath in. And a breath out. Gently unravel your twist. We'll find a counter twist. So just plant your palms to the inside of your right foot towards the left side of your space and then melt your chest down. Breathe in. And breathe out. And slowly we'll press up and then send the legs forward and then we'll stamp the feet and do the other side. So left ankle crosses over the right thigh, figure four. Stay, or you can walk yourself in a little bit more. This is gonna be the really hard part where it's now that we've slowed down and we're doing things that feel really, really familiar, our mind is gonna travel right to that to-do list, especially if we're doing this in the morning. So again, we're working priorities. Yourself always comes first, and your mind is gonna come even before that. So give yourself that moment to breathe a little more deeply. Keep yourself present with how you feel right now and know that your to-do list is going to be there in the next five minutes when we're done. We got this. Breathe in. As you breathe out, send the right leg long. You might need to move your sits or your glutes around so that you can find your sits bones and keep the figure four on the left side. Breathe in. And fold forward on the breath out. Now my left knee has pulled up a lot more a lot further away from the floor and no side is the same, especially not for me. Um, and so it gives us again another opportunity where it's like no day is ever the same, right? It doesn't mean I'm not putting forth effort, of course. I'm still trying, I'm still folding, I'm still doing all the same things, um, but the output doesn't necessarily look exactly the same. And so same thing for your day. Just because the output looks a little bit different does not mean that you didn't put forth 100% of your effort for the day. So acknowledge that your effort will always mean more than the results that they garner because the results will come at the right time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come to a seat and plant the left foot on the outside of your right leg. We'll move into that seated twist. So again, you're welcome to hug in or you're welcome to chamber right arm to the outside of your left thigh. Just make sure that your left arm is behind you so you can lean up against something. And I want to acknowledge the idea that we have time or the idea of results up against this idea of deadlines and a corporate structure. I very much understand that and very much have been a part of it. And so please give yourself grace to then prioritize asking for help. If our resources are not time, then help can be a resource. And so that's what we prioritize for the day because asking for help still prioritizes yourself. It still prioritizes your mind and your effort is still the same. We just need somebody else's. Breathe in and breathe out. And gently unwind your twist and find the counter twist towards the right side. Plant the hands on the right side of your space. Just melt your heart down. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly come up to a seat. You're welcome to cross at the ankles and find something a little bit more comfortable. I want you to reach your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Dip your right ear towards your right shoulder, and then right hand on the outside of your left ear. This is a little bit of a neck stretch. And then let your left arm just kind of dangle or reach for the floor. It's gonna give us a little bit more space, right? Creating a little bit more space for our mind, for our thoughts, for something true to come forward, rather than all the fire drills we create narratives around. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very slowly, unleash your head, reach the crown of your head up, and then we're just gonna switch. Reach the left arm up, make some space first. Left ear to left shoulder, then left hand to right ear, and right arm dangles towards the ground. We prioritize ourselves and our mind. And if our resources are not within time, we ask for help. And if our priorities are still shifting. We prioritize asking the right questions to help us get there. 
asking the hard questions to make sure we're doing the right things at the right time and asking for clarity. And gently release your head from your hands, lift the crown of your head up, and then place your palms back down onto your thighs. Take a moment to gather yourself, gather everything that you are, and know that you are more than enough before you start anything else. Yourself, your efforts will always be noticed, and they will always have tangible results. Not necessarily immediately, and we might not actually know when, but they'll be there. And so we trust. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. From here, we go forth. We take on our days together but separate. And we get it all done in the best way that we know how. Thank you so much for practicing with us and with me, and I will see you on your mat next time. Thank you, thank you.